The build up to the Classico is always huge. I think this year it perhaps lacks some of the tension, some of the aggression of previous seasons, but this is a really, really massive game. And it's a massive game because of the destination of the league title race. Real Madrid currently have a four point lead over Barcelona. Barcelona know that this isn't a game that they have an opportunity to win, it's a game where they have an obligation to win. If they don't win this, I think Barcelona can count themselves out of the title race. If Real Madrid were to win it and go to seven points clear, plus a head to head difference over Barcelona, they'd be in very, very good shape to go on and win the league with, of course, the permission of Atletico Madrid, who are still in there. That's why Barcelona know that they have to go and win this game. The problem from that point of view is that Real Madrid's form has been absolutely fantastic. It's more than 30 games in a row now without being beaten. Since Xavi Alonso came back from injury, they've looked very solid. They've looked very much in control of virtually every game. And, of course, that front three is now working extremely well indeed. Cristiano Ronaldo scoring goal after goal. Gareth Bale's now on 17 assists for the season. And Karim Benzema in the middle of the two of them is having his best season in terms of goals. But I think, more importantly, he's also having his best season in terms of his ability to bring the other two big players into the game. And that's going to be really, really significant on Sunday. Of course, from Barcelona's point of view, it's all about one man. Leo Messi, who's had a difficult season, but since he came back from injury, it's 17 goals in 17 games now. And he's got a fantastic record against Real Madrid, scored more goals in the Classico than anyone else in history and he'll be desperate to do the same again on Sunday.